One of the things I love a lot about travel is all the unique animals you get to see when you visit countries around the world. The reason why there's a big woolly mammoth here is actually this is Watermead National Park here in Leicestershire. Uh, it used to be an old quarry and when they dug it out they actually found the remains of a woolly mammoth, which is pretty cool. So they built this here to commemorate it. Stinging nettles. Do you remember these as a kid? You bloody hurt when you run past them and you brush against your legs. We're driving down to Oxford today and on the way to Oxford from Leicester where we were this morning is Silverstone and this is where the Formula One Grand Prix was yesterday so just thought we'd come and have a look but now we're stuck in a traffic jam. Take the second exit at the roundabout onto Dadford Road. We've decided to stop off here at Blenheim Palace actually quickly on the way to Oxford. This is currently the home of the Duke of Marlborough, a long line of Duke of Marlboroughs. I think it's the 12th Duke of Marlborough who currently lives here. But more relevantly, in a name that you guys will probably know a lot better, is this is the birthplace of Sir Winston Churchill. Now, I'll be honest, I'm not really that much into my British history and I've never really been into the kings and queens, which is probably treason standing here and saying something like that. But this place is fascinating just from the point of view of Winston Churchill, who was obviously such a huge part of the Second World War and British political history. This is his birthplace and the grounds that he had when he lived on. Look at this, growing up here as a kid, not only do you have that huge house that's just in the background now, but these grounds as well. Imagine growing up here as a kid with all this area to play. Anyway, we're going to jump inside now and have a quick look at the state rooms. We're going to do a quick tour and then check out a little bit more about the background and the history of Winston Churchill. Man, could you get any more British than this? We're staying in a place called the Artist Residence, which is this little cool kind of pub thing over here. And we're just staying, I don't know if it's the kind of the residence bits is over here. We're just staying in a building just kind of over the other side of that wall. It's fantastic here. It's so nice being back in the British countryside again. Oh, and I did want to get like some drone footage, you know, some kind of drone going up over the top, and but um, just checked my drone assist app. 
and um, unfortunately it appears that we're in uh, restricted airspace because of a uh, military airfield that's quite a way away from here but the restricted zone kind of spreads out and I don't want to hit a military jet that would that would be a bad end to a great day so far oh where did the sun go uh, also officially English summertime just ended just there that's it winter Love watching all the contrails up in the sky here in the UK. I always find when I come back to England, there's always more contrails you see in the sky than we get back in Australia. It's got to be, it's got to be related to the air temperatures up there being cooler, or maybe it's the amount of traffic up there. You know, as a pilot, I really should know this, but if you can tell me why there are more contrails here in the UK that you see than I get to see in Australia. It's another beautiful morning though here in Oxford. We had a great night's sleep last night. And look, summer's back. Five pence. Hi. Don't record with me. Oh, she's recording me. <laughs> she won't be able to see you recording me. Not you. What do you want now? Five feet. <laughs> Thank you. Have a nice day. <laughs> so cranky. Yeah. Why was he so cranky? I don't know why he was cranky. <laughs> Should I go? Yeah. <laughs> Do you want a coffee? Let's get a coffee. I could do with a coffee. Good, how are you? Good. Okay. Good. 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 It's very strong. We're in the um, Oxford Covered Markets. This is like a kind of indoor shopping area. Coffee though, just had a coffee from that coffee shop just back there. Coffee here in England is so strong. I keep forgetting how strong it actually is. Tasty, don't get me wrong, but we use a lot more milk in Australia. No, this is the Oxford camera. No, the something. Radcliffe camera. Radcliffe camera. What is a camera? Spending some time in the very historic town of Oxford uh, here in, well, Oxfordshire, obviously. Oh, also, this place here, this is the Radcliffe Square, kind of the central heart of Oxford. It's kind of built around a central area, and all the university campuses are then kind of all spread out around the outside. And all, if you've ever seen like the punting down the river, the river's just about half a kilometre that way as well. But it's very, it's actually quite a small town. It's quite neat in here. But we're going to take a look around, we're going to have a look at some of the university campuses. <laughs> This is cool. They've set up this little area here for the Wimbledon Tennis Championships. Everyone's just sitting outside having a pims and watching the game on the big screen. But that's it for our time here in Oxford. Thanks for following along in these UK travel vlogs. Now coming up next on the channel, we're off to Prague, but even more excitingly, and maybe a little bit worryingly, but remember what happened last time I flew British Airways? The worst ever business class experience. Yeah, I remember that too. So guess what? We're flying British Airways again.